Kyle Patrick, he's one of our favorite people to talk to here on, on Headliner Chicago. He's a local actor. You've seen him on stage, and now he's going to be getting in the holiday spirit. There's a new movie, Lacey's Christmas Do-Over, coming to Pop TV this weekend. Uh, tell us all about this film. I mean, it's set in Illinois. It's written by someone who grew up in Illinois. I mean, this is all the Illinois feels right here. Correct. I mean, everybody loves local talent. Uh, and Nikki, as you as you mentioned, she did grow up here. She is the writer. Um, her husband, Dean, uh, they came out here with their children in order to make this lovely little Christmas film. And I don't want to give away too much, but I'm sure that a lot of you understand what Christmas films are like and you won't be disappointed by what you see. <laughs> Can you give us a little bit of, about the premise of what we might uh, see in this film? Yeah, I mean, there's a, a little bit of a clue there with the word do over, um, but you're going to see um, a standard overworked businesswoman who gets told she needs to take a holiday vacation. And then many events unfold during the duration of her vacation to, well, we're in Oregon, Illinois. I believe that's where we're actually set in the film, uh, Oregon, Illinois. Uh, but that's where we filmed it, actually, in lovely little Oregon. So a lot of the people out there have been very excited to see the posts coming out about this film. <laughs> about this movie. You know, I know, like, living in Chicago, every, you know, you're so used to the stores and the people and the things you can do. And once you set, you know, maybe half an hour, an hour outside of the city limits, it feels like a whole new place. What was it like, you know, for you to be able to film in some place that, you know, is still your state, but feels so different from, from where you live? It's actually pretty exciting. We stayed in a lovely little Airbnb out there and it was gorgeous. It was basically this mini mansion. Um, and so we got to sleep on set. Uh, we had our own beautiful little, rooms and I had a giant canopy bed. I, I was treated like a king, um, but it, it was very, it reminded me of home. I actually grew up in, in a space that's very similar to that. And so it was, it was very homey and it got me in the holiday mood. So it was, it was a great place to be for me to film a holiday movie. <laughs> there was a period in my life where I had like my four favorite holiday films. That's all I would watch. But now I've been hooked. I mean, every time there's a new, new story, especially one that's connected to Chicago or Illinois, I'm like, I, I have to watch it. I mean, I just get so in the holiday spirit. Did have that, have you seen that happen with yourself as well too? Yeah, I mean, I tend to be a good holiday guy. I have a lot of people in my life that tend to push me toward holiday spirit and I don't really need push, but we all kind of push one another anyways. <laughs> as you can see by our Christmas tree, we've got in the background here. Uh, this is actually mine. I'm here in my, my apartment. Um, and so, yeah, I think that a lot of my friends tend to get me to watch holiday movies a little bit more than I tend to watch them because I am around them for work fairly frequently. However, I do enjoy them. I think that they're a nice little quirky, quirky American experience that we have. <laughs> and, and you put your hand on the tree so we know it's not a fake Zoom background. The tree is actually right True. there. It is right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Now, uh, we have this film, but we also might see you on stage sometime sometime sooner than the next year. Last time we saw you, Boys in the Band, with Windy City Playhouse, and you're teaming up with them again in the, uh, in the new year. That's correct. Currently, I'm contracted with them to start rehearsals January 3rd uh, for a new show. I'm unsure if I'm allowed to say what that is, but you'll find out soon enough when they release tickets. I believe that'll come in the new year around January 3rd to uh, mid-January so keep a look out Windy City Playhouse's website um, yeah and so that's that's my current plan with them unless anything changes which I don't foresee it happening but I'm very excited to be with them again they're a wonderful house it, it was a wonderful house and you did such a wonderful job in Boys in the Band and I know that show was so well received in the Chicagoland area yeah we, we had a wonderful time I know that um, I would love to repeat the successes that we had with Boys in the Band I know we won multiple Jeff Awards so doing that again would be a wonderful way to get back after being away from theater for, has it been two years now? <laughs> I hate, I cringe to say that. <laughs> oh, I know. It's like you think about it, you're like, how has two years passed? But we'll look forward to that for, for next year. But then we can look forward this weekend. You know, Lacey's Christmas do-over. It's going to be playing in the Chicagoland area, but it's playing all around different times. So check your local listings out for that. Absolutely. We're very excited. <laughs> awesome. Kyle, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Rudy. <laughs>